years. Then, in 2011, a man named Lee DeCarolis came forward. And the phone call, as we understand it, came from a student at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. His name is Lee DeCarolis. He's not asking for money. He's not asking for fame or glory. He's just saying, hey, this is interesting, and I'm the guy who made this call. And he said, yeah, I had a conversation with Bill LeMessure, and he pretty much lined up with what LeMessure himself said. Sadly, LeMessure passed away in 2007 before he could confirm the student's identity. Believe it or not, 40 years later, there's still, I learned, a lot of raw feeling still on this. People aren't anxious to talk about this, especially people that were involved in it, even people that weren't involved in it, but were tangentially involved in it. We reached out to LaMessure Associates and they refused to respond to our request. You think that they would, the, the namesake for their company uh, stood up and did the right thing, but I don't think they want to be associated with mistakes. Their project description for Citicorp doesn't even mention the repairs. 